My name is James Cox. I am the uh, head of the Department of Radiation Oncology at MD Anderson Cancer Center. The treatment of cancer with curative intent was first developed in the uh, 19th century by and large by surgeons and they would remove the tumor and that was the limit. The tumors came back, they spread, that was limited. A hundred years ago or a little more, x-rays were discovered and within just a couple years they were used first for the treatment of tumors on the surface of the body. Cancer of the skin, cancer of the breast. Within 20 years Investigators had found ways to use x-rays to treat tumors of the tonsil and of the larynx, tumors that couldn't be removed surgically and yet cure them. And so already by the 1920s we were curing patients, they were curing patients with cancer with x-rays and instead of surgery or along with surgery. Chemotherapy didn't come into the picture until the 1950s. It was discoveries that came out of the war, especially the use of mustard gas, and that led to the development of drugs such as nitrogen mustard. And then there were a series of metabolites or anti-metabolites that were developed. And so the, the whole role of systemic therapy began to expand, first targeting leukemia and then targeting other types of tumors in the body. They all have their limitations. Surgery fails because the tumor cells have extended beyond the field of surgery. Radiation therapy fails because sometimes the tumors are too big or sometimes the tumors have spread beyond where we can image them or figure they are. Chemotherapy fails because although it can control tumor cells that are microscopic, it fails where the big tumors are. Putting all of those together is really the most successful approach to the treatment of cancer. How we put them together? We need better drugs. We need better focused radiation and radiations that leave out normal tissues because when we put drugs and radiations together, we have side effects on normal structures that make it very, very unpleasant for the patients. So if we can leave those structures out, let's say by using proton therapy, we can avoid that toxicity.